五十四，中国日报香港版。The To Do and Altitude Helping to Turn Back the Eco Clock。二零一五年七月八日 ，China P 零 Look Ground Level。Environment Kingbing and Use I Angry Radical New Moves to Reverse Decades of Environmental Degradation are Paying Dividends in One of China's Highest Nature Reserves, as Kingbing and Use I Angry Report from Mat Oi County, Qinghe Province, in Matrali, a relocationed village for former herdsmen in Mat Oi County. The residents have quickly grown accustomed to their new lives. The nearly Yibak households comprise former herdsmen who previously lived in two townships near the head of the Yellow River in the Sanjiangyu Nature Reserve in Garlag Prefecture, Qinghe Province. In recent years, the local government has imposed a quota system on herding in the reserve, with the aim of protecting the local ecosystem by preventing roaming animals from stripping the grasses that hold the topsoil together and causing large areas of land to become deserts. That has resulted in more than half of the county's approximately Yakman herdsmen settling down in relocationed villages near the county town or alongside important major roads. Matoys in the reserves core region. And about yet man say ten people live within its ye man ten square kilometers. The county is also home to more than say ten lakes, whose combined area is up to yet ten lok ba s q k m two of them. The Yelling and Jailing Lakes are the largest freshwater bodies on the Yellow River and play a fundamental role in regulating the seasonal water volume. Matoi is a small county in terms of population. But a big one in terms of ecological importance, Renz Jeng, the county's party chief, said, "We don't have the pressure of industrial development, so the county's prime task is to protect the ecological environment." In the Yakting Gao Bak Basa Pass, a combination of mining and herding saw Madai register the highest per capita GDP of all counties in China, but the influences of global warming. Excessive herding and overmining brought economic disaster. Worse was to follow. In the Yakting Gao Bak Gao Sa Pass, the lakes began to dry up. During the Yakting Gao Bak Ba Sa Pass, the area boasted more than 18 lakes with areas of Ling Dim Ling Lok S Q K M or larger. But by 18 Ling say that number had fallen to just Yi Bak Lok Sa Pass, according to Mark Wei. Deputy Director of the Madoi Department of Agriculture and Forestry, between Yating Gao Bak Ba Sa Pass and Yating Ling Say, just a percent of the available grassland degenerated or underwent desertification. The area of wetlands declined by Ba Sa Percent. The county became overrun by rats and wildlife numbers plummeted. He did to address the problems. In Yitianling, the local government imposed strict restrictions on herding and industries such as hydro power and mining. Ecological refugees Peda, a Tasap Yue old herdsman from the Tibetan ethnic group, recalled the situation in the Yitianling Gaobak Gaosapes. The lakes dried up, the land became grassless. All of us talked about Kamui and Finn, but they were our only source of income, he said. In Yitian. He decided to sell all his livest talk about Ngsa Yaks and Yating Ngba Ship Plant moved to the county town in answer to the government's call. He said that when his village was founded in Yating Linglo, the local authorities provided a resettlement fund of say man yuan, lok tin say bak say sub lok mei yuan per household, and later gave every family for the sub man yuan to upgrade their houses with modern amenities. Each family owns a house of more than looks up as Q M and has a yap bak yi sub yi as Q M yard. In addition to electricity from the local hydropower station, the buildings are also equipped with solar power generators. The government has built sub will since a village in the old days. The herdsmen, who are mostly ethnic Tibetans, lived in tents and had to contend with extremely low winter temperatures. According to Peda, who lives with his wife, life is more comfortable than before. They're close to the town, and it's convenient for me to visit Truff and see a doctor. He said, adding that his niece of some years old son lives next door. Each adult villager receives about ten lok baht yuan a year as a subsidy for pasture, and residents younger than sub and older than sub also receive a special living allowance of say ten baht baht yuan a year.
Every family is given something yuan and Ali has fuel compensation, like his fellow herdsman. Peter has joined at the Nerarill Cooperative Medical System, and also receives more than the about yuan a month from a fund that guarantees a minimum income for rural residents. The only problem is that we don't have cows or sheep anymore. We have a tabumit, which is a little expensive, but we have kept two yaks for milk, because I can't go without it, he said, with a smile. According to Pedder, the villagers have opened shops, or taken part in a sharp stone on extra money, and the village has its own road maintenance team, which provides jobs for more than Basa people. The extreme climate means grass is one of the few plants that grows well in Madoy. The residents used to depend to the lion meat, and all vegetables were imported from cities such as Sightning, to the provincial capital. Now, though, the situation has changed, with technological guidance and financial support from the San Giangun office and Shanghai municipality, eight half sunken, experimental greenhouses were established in Matrali last year. The villagers have been trained to manage the greenhouses which can produce about e metric tons of more than subtypes of vegetable per year. The villagers consume about sub percent of the produce, while the rest goes to the local market. The greenhouses bring the village about sub lok yuan per year. Growing vegetables is a breakthrough in Madoy's history, said Zhang Jianing, a local official who acts as technical director for the greenhouses. These greenhouses have provided a great example. Demand is huge, and more local residents will learn to operate their own in the future, restoring the ecosystem in recent years. The county has undertaken entity certification measures on Yibabasa as QKM of land. Since fishing was banned in Elling Lake, the biggest in Medoy, the water volume has risen and fish stocks have soared. The combined area of the Elling and Jailing Lakes has increased by more than Gausab as QKM since Yi Ling. The county government has hired more than Lokba Larkils to act as he co patrolers and guard against poaching and illegal fishing, and also to clear waste and litter. To Gui, says Ablok, and his team look after an area of Samsab Sam as QKM. They patrol once a week and each trip takes two or three days, so they always carry tents and provisions. Although they usually ride motorcycles, the members often use horses to travel to the most remote spots. Ndrengayu set over herdsman on reserve, but he and his wife, who has chronic pain in her joints, moved to the county town near Sago. Trikapa receives a pasture subsidy of just get man locked in you on a year. So Tuge was excited to hear that a new reserve the Matoy National Park or the Yellow Riverhead will be established in the county this year, because it will bring more government funding and improve the lives of the local residents. Reclamation projects in Yi Tinling. The state council approved a plan to carry out emergency ecological protection in the San Giangun Reserve, and by Yi Tinling Yasup Sam. The nation had invested 13 billion yuan in reclamation and eco-restoration projects. That the plan, referred to as the first phase project, included e sub projects, which were mainly carried out in the reserve's core areas, covering about say sub percent of the entire region. Compared with the three decades prior to Yi Tinling Yasup say, the trend of ecological degeneration has been curbed. According to an evaluation report published last year by the Institute of Geographic Sciences and Natural Resources Research and the Special Evaluation Panel formed by Qinghai Province, the measures have expanded grassland coverage by Yepa Yi Subsei as QKM, and grass output in the reserve has risen by some sub percent. The area of desert has been reduced by Seba Gao Sub Yi as QKM. And water and wetland has expanded by Yibabasab as QKM. Water storage in the region rose by log percent compared with previous years. Peda has witnessed all the changes and their subsequent reversals. The government's measures have worked, and now the local environment is almost how I'll remember it in the Yatingao Babasab as, he said, according to party chief Ren.
Matt Oi received about Sa Pak million yuan from the central government for a protection projects in San Jiangu and during the project, but when the different types of compensation for locals are added in, the true figure is close to a billion yuan. The evaluation report which was based on continuous monitoring since Yi Qin Ling said restoring the Rika system to its Yi Qin Gao Patasapesheje remains a great challenge. It noted that recovered grassland accounted for just a percent of the area that has succumbed to desertification in recent decades, and looks about the percent of the degenerated grasslands remained unimproved. Meanwhile, the area of wetlands and the annual runoff of the Yellow River are still nowhere close to their yet tingo as levels. While soil erosion has risen sleep has loy but also of a corresponding rise in rainfall during the period. In Yi Tin Ling Yasap Sam, the State Council approved the second phase project to further protect the ecosystem. Unlike the first phase, the new program, which started in January last year, covers the entire reserve and has been granted central government funding of sub lock billion yuan. It aims to realize the long-term goal of ecological protection and construction in the San Jiangu area by combining natural recovery with eco-construction programs. We are shifting from emergency protection to regular, continuous protection, said Li Sianan, director of the San Jiangu office in Qinghai province. Project-based protection will be replaced by more innovative and integrated institutions and mechanisms. We was optimistic about the reserve's future, we have basically found a method that properly combines ecological protection with regional development and is in harmony with many ethnic traditions.